And a good afternoon to you. We begin with the latest breaking weather news here as tropical depression number 11 has formed here just off the coast of Texas. And I mean just off the coast of Texas. It is 15 miles south southwest of Freeport, Texas there. And again, this was Invest 98. We talked about it all morning long. It's now a tropical depression and forecast to get a little bit stronger before it moves inland here, kind of moving north at seven miles per hour. Winds are currently at 35. You can see here is expected to become a tropical storm with about 40 mile per hour winds as it moves inland there going quite or over top of Houston and notice it's not moving much once it moves inland from today all the way through Thursday 7 a.m. Not even getting to about Waco, Texas, so this is going to be a slow mover that's going to cause a lot of heavy rain across much of southeastern Texas heading on into the rest of this week here. Fortunately, it's not a threat to New Orleans. It's far enough away from us. We aren't going to see significant impacts indirectly. We will see some of those clouds coming on in and a few bands or showers trying to work their way in from Grand Isle, kind of just off the southwest of town, but you can see the pretty good circulation. We've talked about it this morning. It was getting better organized as it continued to move closer to the coast. We've seen that. And you can see where that circulation is immediately just along the coast. There's Houston, there's Galveston, and we'll take it right near Freeport, Texas here. You heard that name a lot with Harvey. Uh, you can see as it continues just offshore again, we're talking 15 miles. That is about it. Pretty heavy band of rain trying to come in here. Uh, bands of rain actually could produce winds of 40 miles per hour or greater, so that's why we could potentially become a tropical storm with this one. Uh, did not see the hurricane hunters be flying into it since they're kind of working on Umberto at the moment, uh, but this one will be moving inland. Don't think you can really fly into it because it's too close to land anyway, uh, but we'll use ship reports and buoy reports here and surface weather reports to see just how strong the wind Winds are and the thinking is it could become Imelda here pretty quickly. Now back on the far eastern edge of it, there's that one band of rain kind of still tied in with this tropical depression kind of over across southeast Louisiana. Not really too much with it too. a couple showers and storms coming in from Galliano back toward Grand Isle to Zellman's area back to Thibodeau. You can see the thunderstorms kind of popping up here. They're working the way to the north and any rain that we do get today could produce some downpours. So please be aware that we may see brief downpours coming on in, but we'll keep an eye on that high pressure near Jackson to Vicksburg. Mississippi kind of keeping this away from us, which is good news for our area. But eventually another area high pressure building in from the northeast will also keep it away installing that system. But look at the rainfall totals here. Houston area back to Beaumont. We're talking four to eight inches or more of rain. And this is right now. This one goes all the way through about uh, 630 on Friday morning. So we're getting up to the top end of the scale there with a lot of heavy rain. This will cause some flooding issues, flash flooding issues there for much of southeastern Texas and maybe just on in toward Cameron and Calcasieu parishes of southwest Louisiana. Along the uh, end of the Sabine River. So this area here is kind of what we're looking at for the roughest weather.